It is once again a beautiful day out. A beautiful day for destruction. Hi again, everyone. I'm Joseph Nelson or Green Joe Buff. I'll answer either one. And welcome back to Science Series number one, season 11, Freestyle. If you're just now joining us for the first time and haven't seen the previous videos, Black Pearl had the lead in Freestyle for quite a while, only to be taken down by Gravedigger, who now currently holds the lead. And now, up next in Freestyle, Bounty Hunter looking to knock him down. Bounty Hunter is a past champion on this channel. He will get two hits. So hit number one going for the middle jump, because why not? And over he goes, taking out a crush car. And he's got one more hit to go. And then gonna go over for the far end. A lot of trucks have been getting some good jumps off of this. Such as that, and over he goes. He hit the wall, which might eight have messed him up. Well, actually, yeah, it did mess him up. If, it, if he had avoided the wall, he probably would have gone further. So that's going to do it for the Bounty Hunter. Grave Digger remains your leader. And up next in freestyle, the OG Bolus Bulldozer. In memory of Rob Nell. And he's only got one shot. And it's going to be the far side. Down he goes. And trying to go into a backflip, but didn't get the rotation. So that will do it for Bulldozer. I am still going to do that obstacle again in the next slam series. I love how it turned out. I didn't think it was going to turn out this good. It was a last minute, a last minute thing. But uh, it's working out. So, yeah. And up next in freestyle is Carolina Crusher. Another OG. Another one. Getting a lot of ones. Well, this time we're going to go for the triple stack. And down we go. And comes up way too short and will not get in the win. Gravedigger remains your leader. Good jump by Carolina Crusher. But not enough to get the win. And up next is Freestyle. We got another OG. Got quite a few of them, come to think of it. It's Captain's Curse. The newest version by Spin Master. And it's going to be a two. So two hits for Captain's Curse. Hit number one. Going for the middle. And over he goes. And last jump going for the triple stack. Hoping to take out Grave Digger. Here we go. And that will do it for Captain's Curse. Oh, yeah, that random fact. Did you know Alex Blackwell actually drove Grave Digger once? It was sometime in 2007. I guess that was his Monster Jam debut. Actually, no, no, he was driving Bulldozer also that year. Yeah. And next up in freestyle, it's Bad Company. And there's, there's another one. <laughs> I promise you, I am not redoing these over and over just so they, until they get a one. I don't know. Anyways, bad company going for the triple. And goes off the track, but go gets back on. Um do I count that? Yeah, I suppose it still counts. He, he got back onto the track. If he got if he had one off the track, it would have been out of bounds. So yeah, your new leader is bad company. But up next it's Monster Patrol. And uh, heard about Tom Mintz, how he's uh, doing okay. Although Colton Eichelberg will be filling in for him this weekend at Tampa, which will be awesome. Hit, and there'll be two hits for Monster Patrol. So hit number one. And over he goes. It's like that wing is weighing it down. Either that or it's just chassis. I don't know. Uh, anyways, hit number two, going for the triple stack. And over he goes, almost in the same place. So Monster Patrol will not get the lead. Bad Company remains your leader, but here comes Bakugan Dragonoid. The pickup version. And it is a four. So hit number one, going for the middle. And problems going down. And hit number two, take on the black and red double. And nicely done. 
That was the first time anybody's hit the double in this part. And number three, take it on the red side or whatever you want to call it. I, I have no idea. And, man, if that was his final jump, that would have been a tie. And you know what? He's going to go for it again for his final jump. He's going to do it again, and he won't. Goes off to the side into the other double, and then into the triple. And that is going to do it for Bakugan Dragonoid. Alright, next up in freestyle, it's Monster Mutt. Been a while since this truck has gotten a win. It's going to be a five, so he's going to be hitting all five obstacles. And that's right, there's five jumps. And here he goes, hit number one. Yeah, I should have put this closer. I, I thought I put it in the right spot. All right, hit two, take it on the trailer double. Yeah, there's really something wrong with this lane. In the, they keep something and keeps making them drift sideways. So, so they're like hitting it sideways. Either way, that trailer is getting smashed. And that's for that one. <laughs> Because I know what the Encore is going to be. Because I don't have any new trucks. Well, at least not yet. I will say I got one new truck that will debut in the next sign-up series. Along with the custom trucks I've had put away for a while. Anyways, hit two. Take on the double. And what the heck was even that? Alright, next hit. Take on the triple stack. Oh, what a hit. Oh, man, he would have gotten the lead. He's touching the wall. Bro, save that for your last hit. See if you can do that on this jump. Stay away from the wall. I said that really weird. And, oh. And he's closer to the wall. New leader, Monster Might. Monster Mutt is your new leader, but here comes the king of the monster trucks, Bigfoot. And it's going to be a four for Bigfoot. Let's go. All right, hit number one, going for the black and red double. And what a save there, going into the far side. Hey, seriously, people, help me you come up with a name for this obstacle. Hi, everybody. Help me out, bro. All right, hit two, going for the triple. And parks it on top of the green cans. And next hit, taking on the middle jump. And having problems going down. Fortunately, that wasn't his final jump. And final jump for Bigfoot, going for the far side. Hang on. Just had to flatten it out some more. I, I'm fixing the track down there as well. A little bit crooked, but it's good to go now. And here comes Bigfoot. Look at his Bigfoot. And nice air by Bigfoot. Sticks it on the tailgate, but Monster Mutt remains your leader. That was a pretty good jump. That can is smashed. All right, next up in freestyle, it's Maximum Destruction. And it is a six. That's the first time we've gotten a six on this part. So here comes Max D. And it into the same place as everyone. Uh, next time I'm going to put this closer. All right, hit two. Pick it on the trailer double. Keep it straight, boy. Nice. And gets a front flip and lands in the same spot as the first time. And hit number three. Take it on the black and red double stack. And over it goes. Apparently that's his favorite spot. For those that are wondering why I chose the colors I chose them, I don't really know. They're just random colors. And some of these cans are left over from Holiday Havoc. And number four, going for the far side. And in that spot again for the one millionth time. Hit number five, take on the triple stack. And into the car, and over it goes. All right, one more hit for Max D. This is Max D's final chance to get a win here. As he goes for the far end, one more time. 
And oh, you were right there. Uh, well, let me get these leaves out of here. Out of your leaves, nobody likes you. Well, Monster Mutt remains your leader. Could this be the day Monster Mutt gets another win? The first time since 2015. Oh, by the way, all the independent trucks are done. So that means a, a Feld truck is going to get a win here. Because uh, so far we've had three Feld trucks win. Black Pearl, Bad Habit, and uh, Mrs. Bigfoot. Oh, oh, I forgot for a second. So who's going to win this? Well, it's too early to tell because here comes Grave Digger. And followed by two more trucks. And they'll be at three for the Grave Digger. So hit number one. Yeah, I think that's the first time anybody's hit hit that obstacle straight like that. All right, hit two. Going for the triple. And tumbles over it. Yeah, the only damage that was done... To this triple was um from long jump. Well, well, this is what happens when you take a whole month off. But don't worry, I will I will get better as time goes on. All right, final jump for Grave Digger going for the far side, and that will do it for Grave Digger. Monster Mutt remains your leader. Oh, we get the Tony Farrell version of Grave Digger the Legend. We are getting another Grave Digger of the Legend this year in the Spin Master line. I hope it's that one, because that would be awesome. And next up, the Wildest Devil in Tasmania is Taz. And it's going to be a three, another three. So let's get it. This time going for the black and red double. And try to save it, but failed. All right, next hit, taking on the triple. And over it goes. Huh. Jumping the triples what got him the one in 2008. And final jump going for the far end, hoping to take out Monster Mutt. Down they go. And that will do it for Taz. All right, last truck up. Funny enough, uh, the truck that was in the lead was one of the trucks Ryan Anderson drove before Son of a Tigger. So, yeah, um, it's a Ryan Anderson themed uh, Ryan Anderson themed uh, ending. So here comes Son of a Tigger with those awesome green flames, overcast graphics. I love it. What will they think of next? And it will be a four for Son of a Tigger. So hit number one, going for the middle. Starting off strong. Hit two, going for the trailers. And off to the side. Alright, I know what the encore is going to be. We're going to smash that trailer. We're going to put it in the middle somewhere and, uh, yeah, destroy it. Hit three, take on the triple. And it, into the green cans again, right where he started. You know, I sand out. All right, this is it. Oh, yeah, froze for a second. And, and this is it, the final the final jump for Son of a Digger. This is the jump that will possibly get him the win, or not. So we'll be Hussy Joey and Monster Mutt. Yeah, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing your name. Or we'll be Fluffy the Guinea Pig and Son of a Digger. We're about to find out as he goes for the far side. Down he goes. And you're a winner. For the first time in eight years. It's Monster Mutt. Monster Mutt has finally done it. Once again, unstoppable. Yeah, go, to, go ahead and celebrate. You deserve it. All right. And now for our champions to go. But first... I'm just going to put this here. Alright, so here comes our champions. First up, our racing champion, the Black Pearl. And right into the trailer. Alright, our triple threat champion, Bad Habit. 
And our, our long jump champion, Mrs. Bigfoot. And our freestyle champion, Monster Mutt. Nice. And before we close out this video, we got a couple of encores. Starting off with Crush Delivery. Awesome looking truck. I love the shark in the back. Oh, here it goes. This is not for competition. Oh, problem's going down. What? Oh, wait. That was a trailer. <laughs> Forgot. Forgot what was there for a second. All right, he's going for the trailer. And clips it. Now he's going to go for it again. Oh. Yeah, he won't. He wants to smash that trailer, but the track is getting the better of him. And going for the trailers. And finally, somebody hit it straight. Why couldn't it happen in competition, eh? And last jump, take it on the triple. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, crush delivery. And last up before we close out, this truck I, I loved seeing back when I went to uh, Tacoma for Monster Jam. I have a warm place in my heart for, for it. It's my it's a custom truck that I've had put away for a while, kind of forgot about it, but now I'm bringing it back. You can catch it in the next live series. It's Double Trouble. Yeah. And although I did I did hear that there was going to be a Monster Machines version of it eventually uh, i think i think uh, don't quote me on that it, it's yet to happen but here comes double trouble to put on an encore and landing on son of a digger like i said you can catch this truck in the next time series i know it's not the perfect paint job it could be done better but you know i tried i'm not i'm not a professional okay all right hit next hit taking on the the far end and this is a light body too. This is a this is a monster masher's body. So this thing should be pretty fast. I'm going for the trailers. And what up? Uh, what was that, man? Alright, gonna go for the triple stack. I moved the trailer there. So here comes double trouble. And he missed it. All right, I want that thing destroyed. I'm just going to throw a random truck at it. Starting with Mrs. Bigfoot. All right. Uh, bad habit. Hit the trailer. Hit demo ace. Not even close. Double trouble. Grave digger. All right, you know what? You gonna be like that? Okay, okay, let's see how it is. All right, all right, they wanna land there, okay. There you go. I'm having too much fun with this. And landed right on Mrs. Bigfoot. Finally, maximum destruction. And to finish it off. Oh. Yeah, I want this thing destroyed. Alright, some more random trucks. Alright, one last try before I close out. Oh, high tail hole didn't even didn't even and hit it. All right, and to officially close this out, here's all our champions at once. Going for the triple, and try to smash that trailer. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. There, now it's destroyed. And finally, that concludes time series number one, season eleven. But the season's only just begun. Congratulations to our champions, uh, uh, BMNG, BMTV, and Black Pearl. Uh, a lot of names here. Uh, one Bad Ghoul, Ryan Mike, 2008, and Mrs. Bigfoot. A temporary High MT and Bad Habit. And finally, 
Hussey Jelly, and Monster Mike. Congratulations to you four, and I hope to see you in the next Slime Series. You don't want, you don't want to miss it. Double Trouble was, the only, was just the beginning of the new trucks. I just ordered a new one today. You'll see it. Until then, I'm out of here. Have a good day.